Yeah, well, why don't you talk to us when you've got something to say? Yeah, good, I look forward to it. Muppet. Great match the other day. Yeah. How's the house? Okay. It's a bit of a trek from the training ground, though, so, um, I thought helicopter. A red one. White blades. Fly the colours. <laughs> what happened to Mr. Nice Guy? Look, I don't want any house, any helicopter. I don't care about free cars. I don't want any player of the Mono World. All I want is my own TV show. Edwards. And I'm Andy Goldstein, and tonight we're privileged to be in the presence of a living genius. Thanks, mate. No, not you. I am, of course, talking about one of the finest, bravest, most talented footballers of his generation. The awesome and inspirational Cesc Fabregas. <laughs> Of course, it looks like the Emirates. And you've clearly had a, a great season. What have been the highlights for you personally? It's, it's difficult to say. Me personally, I'm happy how it went individually, but as a team, I'm disappointed because we didn't win anything. A club like Arsenal, I think, uh, should win a lot of trophies. We've done it in the past, and now we have to make sure that uh, all together with the fans and all the club and the players, we make it for next season because I'm sure I, and I've got the feeling that we will do it. You, uh... you heard it here first. Not Man United. <laughs> uh, now, you know, Cesc, that a lot of British footballers play in Spain. I mean, mainly they play golf once they're retired. And that's obviously where you started your career. Being Spanish clearly helped. Let's have a little look and see where your story began. I think 10, 11 years old when I saw him the first time. He played at this time on Mataró. And I remember that the, uh, to the mom of him, I said, you don't know what you have at home. In the beginning, when he came to Barcelona, we agreed with Mataró that he came once a week. And the rest of the days, he will train in, in Mataró, no? Lo conocí hace 10 años. Jugábamos en el Alvin B del, del Barça. Era muy extrovertido, hacía muchas bromas. Bueno, le gustaba jugar mucho y bueno, era futbolista ya. Está formado aquí en el Barcelona, tienen las cosas que se trabajan aquí en, en la cantera. Un jugador con muchísima calidad, que es, con el balón juega muy bien. Y se intenta inculcar también valores como persona, te hacen crecer como persona y como futbolista. Me preguntaba por la cantera, por los jugadores del fútbol base aquí prometía y él era un de ellos. Tothom deia que se semblaba donc, una mica al Pep. The first thing that... That Cesc Fabregas played in Football Club Barcelona was a living A. For me, it's the best team that I have had. I stayed in Barcelona since 1996 and I never had a team like this. No? Bueno, si te pones triste, pero también te alegras al verlo ahora, como está triunfando. Cesc, do you miss your mother and father living over here? Definitely. I mean, they've been, uh, they are still a big part uh, to me, to my career, um, as a person as well. They always uh, try to help me, they talk to me, but whenever they call me every day, they ask me, are you happy? If I say yes, then they are happy as well. Well, if you want to thank them, there's no need to jump on an easy jet to see them this week, Cesc. Uh, no, that's right. With that, our next guest, we'll just be standing here talking to ourselves, it's been embarrassing. Uh, they're responsible for the very existence of Cesc and gave him the ambition to make that giant step to Arsenal. It's your mum and dad, Naria and Francesc. <laughs> uh, 
Hands off. Hands off. <laughs> uh, now, you must be very proud of your son's achievements. Well, mm, we are proud of uh, both of our children. And More we are proud happy. of Sask? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Just a little <laughs> tiny bit? No, okay. I'm sorry, but no. We are happy for him. Um, it's his job, it's his effort, and he has won what is happening in his life. He has indeed. Sask, your father doesn't speak any English whatsoever. No, Could you doesn't. ask him then, in uh, the native language, um, did, he, did he ever think that you would make it as a professional footballer? Em pregunta que si tu et pensaves que algun dia jo faria com a, que arribaria a ser professional del futbol. Home, a veure, de ben petit que ja se te veien unes diferències bastant grosses respecte als altres nanos, que passa que ho portaves a dins callat i no, no ho podies exterioritzar, no? Però realment sí que se te veia ja que eres una mica diferent als altres, sí. Yes. <laughs> competitive streak that Cesc has, there's one competition that he'll definitely want to win and that's a footy touch test against a bunch of football hopefuls that Cesc has arranged right here in the studio. He only wanted to face the very best so he decided to sharpen his opponent's skills first with the aid of the LFCA head of coach education. Guys, you're here this afternoon for the chance to take Cesc Fabregas on in the studio. What we're going to do is we're going to put you under it this afternoon, see what you've got in the locker after 85 minutes. Is your touch still there? Have you still got it? Can you show me it late on? That's what I'm looking for. Are you up for it? Let's do it. It's going to be a numbers game. I'm going to give you a number command. You only go on the numbers. Don't worry about anything else I've got to say. You're concentrating on the numbers. Physical, and mental agility is what we're going to be testing here. We ready to go? Get yourselves on a white cone and go! Okay, what numbers go then, guys? I told you it's a mental game and you only go on the numbers. Stay awake. One. In you go, nice sharp turn. Good. Two. Good, I'm liking that. Three. Quick feet, keep your heads up. Four. Here we go, we're warming up now. Number five's going to be a stop turn. Five. Three. Touches, touches, get that ball out in front. Eye contact, all those three balls, good. Six. Come on, guys, this ain't a jog now, let's put it in. Six, six, six. Where you go again, loving it. Let's get busy. You can't switch off now, it's late in the game. If ever I call ten, that's numbers one to nine in order. Ten. And rest. That was demanded.